No, yeah, All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Director General Gurry, member states of the first Marrakesh General Assembly, and all other member states, guests, and distinguished delegates to this historic occasion. I have the honor of wearing many hats. A couple of those involved the World Blind Union as part of the National Association of Blind Lawyers of the United States. And also, I have the honor and privilege as, of serving as the WBU's representative on the board of the Accessible Books Consortium. In addition to that, though, I am a member of the Board of Governors of the American Bar Association, the world's largest organization of lawyers with over 400,000 members, which in 2014 passed a resolution urging the United States and all countries of the world to ratify the Marrakesh Treaty. For me, this is extremely personal. I went blind at age 10 due to a childhood virus. One of my favorite things to do was to read. That was taken away, I thought permanently. But I got that ability back by learning Braille and using other alternative techniques. But I had access to such few works. Later on, when I was in college, I wanted to become a major in Spanish, to get my degree in the Spanish language, and go into international business management. I could not. And the reason I could not is I was unable to gain access to works in Spanish that I needed to complete my degree. If we had ratified Marrakesh over 25 years ago and put it into place, perhaps I wouldn't be a lawyer. Perhaps I'd be in international business. Who knows? But my story is not unique. These are the barriers that blind people and other people with this print disabilities face, and that is why we must gain ratification of Marrakesh throughout the world. You heard earlier today about the first exchange between contracting parties, and that was between Canada and Australia, as facilitated by the Accessible Books Consortium. You should also know on that very same day, books were exchanged in Latin America through the leadership of Tifro Libros, uh, Pablo Lacona from Argentina. They exchanged some books with other contracting parties of Marrakesh. And these two acts are emblematic of precisely what needs to happen in the world. We need to have broad cooperation through WIPO's leadership and other organizational leadership to make sure that these books start flowing. This treaty will only be a bunch of words on a piece of paper unless we do that. So what do I hope for at the second Marrakesh General Assembly? I hope for 200,000 or 2 million exchanges of accessible books across international borders, not just the two that we have had under the treaty. And finally, what I hope for on a personal note is that in 2017, the United States of America is not only a member to the General Assemblies of WIPO, but also a member of this Marrakesh Union. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.